Okay, folks, so this is kind of our last little discussion here of blood types. So there's a table in your tab book, and notice I've already drawn in what your A uh, blood group would look like. So it's got these little lollipop-looking uh, antigens on it right there. Those are the A antigens. And the B antigens are these little diamondy ones. So if you're type B blood, then you have B antigens. If you're AB over here, then you, are, you have both A and B. And if you're O, you don't have any antigens at all. So if I'm A type blood, what kind of antibodies must I have? So these would be in my plasma that are fighting off the, the opposite blood antigens. That's right, I would have anti-B. So it's gonna attack B, right? So these would be, probably look something like this so that they would actually attack this little triangle shape. So if I'm B type blood, then I've got in my antibodies, yep, anti-A, which would have this sort of curvy shape to grab on to those circles, right? Keep in mind, they're not really circles and triangles. I'm just making it look like that so you can kind of see it. And blood group AB isn't gonna have any of these, right? Because if they did, then they would be attacking their own blood and that would be a huge problem. So what kind of antibodies is blood group O gonna have? That's right, they're gonna be anti a, so they're going to have the roundies here, but they're also going to be anti-B, and they're going to have these to grab those, those little diamonds. So you've got your anti-A and your anti-B if you are blood group O. So what kind of antigens are on the red blood cells? Well, if I'm A, then my antigens are A. And if I'm B, then my antigens are B. If I'm AB, then I have both. Oops, ah, come on. I don't want to highlight. <laughs> Silly thing. Then I have both A and B. And notice you can see that on the blood cell. O will not have any of those. Now, remember, our H factor is a little bit different. So we're going to go to the next, onto the, the blank side of this, so we can do a little bit of addition for our notes. Okay, so we are looking at now A's, B's, O's, a, B's, and negatives, right? So let's take a look at what it's possible to be. So you could have A-type blood. You could have B-type blood. You could have AB blood. And you could have O blood. And this is the type. Whoops. Hit the wrong thing there. So this is your blood type. And then you could have your RH factors on top of it. It's possible to have both positive and negative for both for all of these. So what that means is that the antigens whoops gotta get my writing done here. Antigens. So the antigens on A positive would be A's and RH. That would give you the A positive. But if you're A negative, A only is what would get you A negative. It's going to be the same for B, A, B, and O. Right? So let's do, we'll do one more here so you can kind of get the idea. So that the antigens for uh, AB positive, you would have both A, B, and RH, you would be AB positive. And if you were negative, then you would have A and B only. 
you wouldn't have those RHs. So remember O, O is that weird case where there's no antigens, right? So if you have RH, then you're O positive because you don't have any A and you don't have any B, but you do have RH. If you're negative here, then that would be no antigens at all. So someone who's O negative is not going to have any antigens. Hopefully this helps you to see how blood type can really help us out when we start looking at samples and crime scenes and seeing who could have possibly done it and who had no possible chance of having done it. So I uh, hope this helps and I will see you in the next video.